Rub up your engines! Joe 212, got a good question. Scotty, is it possible for oil filters that have outstanding filtration to actually restrict the flow? If they were incorrectly built, yes. But the good ones, all of them have them, but the good ones have even better bypass systems on it, the, the valves. Cheapy ones had a plastic bypass valve, but the expensive ones had a steel bypass valve that's better made. So, you really don't have to worry about if you buy a high one like Bosch or something like that, because they're better built filters, and they do filter better, but they're not going to cause restrictions because they have bypass. If the pressure gets too high, it just bypasses it. Then it's dirty, and it's time to change it anyways. And those filters are so good that if you do change your oil regularly when you're supposed to, you're not going to clog the things up. 2012 Honda Crossdoor. Scotty, I was told by two individuals that Costco fuel is bad for your car. That's a wives' tale old wives tale. A lot of people just pass them on as time goes on. In the United States, all gasoline sold is regulated by the government of what they have to have as minimum standards. Some are a little better than others. They call them top tier gas, but any of them will run your car perfectly fine. And realize that in any given area, most of the gasoline only comes from one particular refinery anyways, and then the other companies buy them. Maybe Shell refined it, but Exxon selling the same gas as their own, putting a different color dye in it, maybe putting a couple additives in it, but it's all basically the same gasoline in the area that you're buying it from anyway. So don't be fooled by these old wives tales. Here's something that I see, unfortunately, all too commonly. I had a new customer, they had a Ford Fusion, and their brake pedal kept sinking, and they looked, they said no leaks or anything, so they replaced the brake master cylinder, and the brake pedal continued to sink. So I did the usual, because I can't believe anybody, I pulled all the four wheels off, no leaks, put on my scan tool, didn't show that there were any problem with the anti-lock brake systems. Your anti-lock brake systems say the modulator's going bad, and it opens up when it's not, your brake pedal will sink to the floor too. I looked, and I saw he had a brand new brake master cylinder, but it was one that was made in China. I said, hmm, <laughs> I'm going to go get a factory original equipment, the OEM one. I did. I put it on. Boop. Hard as a rock. Brakes work fine. Do not buy ultra cheap Chinese parts if you're going to be using brake systems. Brake systems, your life is on the line. Do you really want to chance it? with some part that may not hold up. This, in this case, hey, at least it didn't work from the get-go. It wasn't like it was working good, and then he slammed it on and gets on a wreck because then it breaks. It didn't work from the beginning. <laughs> but it's a lesson to be learned. When it comes to brakes, you don't want to go using the cheapest part you can get your hands on. So that or says, I got an 05 freestyle. The AC only blows cold when I accelerate. What's the cause? When you're accelerating, that spins... The alternator faster, that spins the compressor faster, and then when you slow down and go to a steady speed, the compressor's spinning slower, the alternator's spinning slower. First thing I'd say, just check the refrigerant level. Have a mechanic put a set of gauges if you don't know how to do it. It could be as simple as long refrigerant. Also have the battery and the alternator load tested, because if that's weak, it spins faster, it works, it spins slower, it doesn't, could be an electrical problem. That's one of those two that's probably the problem. I hate my band. Scotty, could a bad strut cause the inner joint on a drive axle to wear and snap off? If they are really bad struts, or if they're bent, yes. Because if they're really bad, then instead of going over the bumps like that, it'll be going like that, it'll be straining it too much, and of course if it's bent, and if the strut's actually bent from hitting something, say it's bent out more, then it's actually pulling the joint out, and it will break off more. I have seen that happen. Uh, also, if you do have an axle break off, first thing you want to check is the motor mounts, because the most common thing is either a motor mount or a transmission mount's broken, and then it hops up and down, and it snaps the joint off. Next question is Nick 20 S. Scotty, any recommendations on a good sports bike for a newbie? Yeah, I'd say get either a Honda or a Suzuki 600. Those are screaming bikes. They don't break. The only thing is they're fast. They're super fast. And you can easily kill yourself if you are a newbie. You might think about a little bit less power. You might get one of those Kawasaki's like the 400 or something that's smaller that doesn't have. You might even go to a 250 or something if you're afraid of there's too much power. But if you're going to learn seriously the Honda or the Suzuki 600s are screaming bikes. I mean, you never need anything faster than that, really, unless you're racing them for money. Joe, you says, 
Whatever happened to Saturn? Well, you know, Saturn was always General Motors, but they opened up their own plant. They did the, uh, we want to be your car company, and they had it open all summer so people on their summer vacation could visit the factory and all this stuff. There was a big rhubarb because it was still owned by GM, and they were whining because they wanted special treatment, and then they started moving the workers around and saying, you all work for GM, and they ended up shutting the plants down. Part of it was because they came up with an okay idea. The quality control in the beginning was a little bit weak, but then they tried to build something that they weren't that good at. The original ones were four cylinder engines. Then they came out with a V6, but that was a Honda engine. And Honda refused to sell them the engines anymore because uh, GM said, oh, well, we're not going to use your special Honda coolant. And they said, you have to use the Honda coolant in our Honda V6 engines. And GM just said, no, we got our deck cool. We put them in all our products. So Honda said, we won't sell you engines anymore. Then Saturn decided to build their own V6 engine. It was a rolling pile of crap. I had a neighbor who had one, and it fell apart. And so they started making mistakes, and then they just shut the whole thing down. That's kind of it in a nutshell. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.